I've uh, come out to try and I've been passing this old tree for for months. Um, so I thought I'd try and get out and see if I can uh, get in to the field near it. Um, I have spoke to the farmer that owns the field and just asked permission. Um, he said that, yeah, it's not a problem. So I'm uh, gonna have a look and see if I can get somewhere near it. And um... Okay, I actually wanna get in to the next field over. I cannot see how I get in there. So it could be a bit of trial and error and a bit of walking around maybe. Okay, so I've um, finally located a way in. Spoken to the landowner and uh, got permission to come in. So uh, I can now get a photo of this amazing old tree. Okay, I'm uh, trying to I've taken a couple of general shots. I'm just trying. I've got a uh, tense I'm just trying a really slow exposure to try and blur the clouds a little bit, but I don't think they're moving fast enough. So, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I've um, I've now put the shutter release on um, because. Uh, a 30 second exposure it's not really getting any any too much blur at all so trying something a little bit different and basically running a much longer exposure um, not sure how it's going to work with this light it's probably a bit too bright um, but I'm going to try a minute and see see what it looks like uh, the technique didn't really work too well. It's a little bit too bright and actually not enough cloud. So I think we may have to try that one on a different occasion. Um, right, I've got a couple of shots from this angle. Um, let's move around and try some different exposures and see what else we can get. Right, keep walking around, trying different angles. Um, there's one down here now, the sun's going down and Shadows, shadows creeping away from the tree. So I think I'll try and try and get one of that. Hopefully, using the shadow as a leading line back into the tree, um, which will obviously be silhouetted then um, with the sun. So it's looking looking quite interesting. We'll have a look. Sun may need to go down a little bit lower to get it right, but we'll give it a go. On each of these shots, I'm taking a few at uh, different exposures. And then, if need be, if we need to mix them a little bit in Photoshop to get the, uh, get the light range right, I can do in processing. Round in the round in the shadow just now the sun was still a little bit high so um, I think I'll make my way back round I'm just gonna walk up round to the left a bit more here that uh, cloud behind me there it's quite interesting so I'll go up round there and use that whilst the sun's still a bit higher use that with the tree in the foreground and hopefully try and get the cloud behind make the shot a bit more interesting and then by that time hopefully the sun will be a bit lower and disappearing that I can then use the um, use the shadow again taking different exposures of each shot. Um, reason being, I can't really use a, a um, graduated graduated filter because it would all not only darken the sky, but obviously darken the subject as well as 
um, because it's above the horizon line. Um, so therefore I'm taking several different exposures and then um, I can blend them together to enable to give me the, the a wider dynamic range to be able to get the, the light and the shadows and get the desired effect hopefully in the final in the final picture. Okay, I'm glad I bit the bullet and um, made a quick stop there. I saw them cutting the field today, so it was the ideal opportunity to just stop in. Uh, I would like to have stayed a bit longer, but unfortunately I have to pull away due to another another appointment. But um, but I have got permission from them, so I can drop back in there again. So. Um, Hopefully, over the next few weeks, as the um, as the evenings get better and the sun, we might get decent decent sunset. Uh, I can try and plan in and go back out again. But um, but it was well worth the visit.